where he wanted to be. I still think he's going for it, though. No, he's not. He's Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's a good shot. He might play this with a bit of pace, maybe. Oh, no, he's... Yeah. Yeah, take your chances trying to get it safe. <laughs> Bird making O'Sullivan laugh as the cue ball was coming down the table. Don't know whether you heard. Alfie said, get in. And it nearly did. That's what you always used to hear the, the old commentators say, wasn't it? The match is played in a good spirit. All lies. All lies. <laughs> Really, all insincere. <laughs> yeah, there was one old journalist who, when someone cracked a joke at the Crucible, he always used to write the story the next day. So and so put a smile on the face of Snooker yesterday. As you say, <laughs> all completely fatuous. Like what I'm seeing here from O'Sullivan. Doing the right things, playing the right shots, treating the game and indeed his opponent and the tournament with respect. As he got the reward there, I think the pink's in the way. table from Ronnie there it's a really good shot very easy to catch that too thick put it put it over the corner pocket it's a little bit unlucky not to get the snooker really Sullivan four. Yeah. One of those situations, Michael, where the four penalty points don't make that much the difference yeah. in the sense that okay. yeah. O'Sullivan's right. numerical advantage isn't that much greater and the ball's in nicely open should Burn get the chance to Foul. clear. But now he's getting into the territory where he could possibly leave. Oh, Sullivan had he caught that yeah. brown a little thicker. Could have left a, a free ball or snooked himself behind the brown. Yes. Um, I, think he's, I don't know whether he's just trying to get a yeah. thin edge off it. I mean, he's, he plays with a good pace. He plays with the right pace. He'd be unlucky to leave it if he hits it. Foolish, but he's not. He's caught a quarter ball and knocked it up towards the pocket. 
19 ahead O'Sullivan, so he needs the green and the brown. And still remaining circumspect. As, as I said before, good to see. Good to see. a good hit but he might be in trouble next that's the problem with playing the sort of slow hit on that sort of shot you're always giving your opponent a good a, a good chance of putting you in trouble or back to where you were and again now i think he's snookered again so he's in the same similar position really i'm really giving him some laughing gas i think I think the psychology there from Burton, indeed from Burton for the last few moments, is to make O'Sullivan feel as though he shouldn't be playing all of this safety, but we all know he should. Yeah, he's, he's playing good shots and now he's in the blue, so this looks trouble. Running O'Sullivan five. Yeah. From there? Yeah. So he's not having the cue ball put back. He's asking Burden to play from there. And Sullivan's making the argument that he didn't play to miss, but that's not the rule anyway. No, he just said, just crack on, mate. You get on with it. Could it be one of those situations where it's a big turning point? Alfie flukes the green, draw. Foul, and a miss. Back. Alfie Bird and <laughs> four. Back. Well, you've said it now, so it's got to go back, so, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Burden was being there. ironic. He said straight back in laughing. Brown, and of course, once he'd right, said yeah. that, the cue ball had to go back. There were several occasions, you know, last season, indeed over the last few seasons, where O'Sullivan in really important matches didn't have balls put back he should have had. And he almost came unstuck. Eventually, there will come a point where his idea about the rule and the way it's enforced, I think, is yeah. going to cost him dear at some point of a big tournament. Yeah, I mean, it could cost him here if he, if he ends up losing this frame. Um, I think that has, that means that Alexander only has to draw, doesn't he? Alfie Burden, four. In his last game against Ronnie? That's right. All very well having firm yeah. opinions about the misrule, but you don't want to disadvantage yourself when everyone else is making full use of it. Yeah, I mean, that's the rule at the end of the day, whether you you agree with it or not. It'll happen, it'll happen against you enough times, so sometimes you just have to take advantage of it, but Ronnie just wants to not take it, basically. Love it, yeah. The one instance where he's dead against the rule is when he puts an opponent back and he knows that if the opponent misses the snooker again, then they will require snookers, as was the case with Burden a few moments ago. Yeah, there is a case with a miss rule. Uh, sometimes it's as if now, if you don't hit it, it's always going back. When you can miss it by nothing, really, and it, and it goes back and... 
my argument is if you can play to miss it by that much, you might as well play to pot it. Um, sometimes you just miss it, but maybe Ronnie's thinking like that. Isn't it? Could knock the blue in here. But it's still life in this. He's got one good pot here. He's got a great chance to win the frame. It's going towards the pocket. might be it and this is one of those instances where being able to play left-handed is such such a help as burden we see missing that green by the proverbial country mile well he couldn't reach left-handed so had to play with the rest but he's knocked it in regardless and he's on the brown so all of the talk about whether he should have taken the the miss has been rendered moot. Seven. Twelve. O'Sullivan made a 68 break in the first frame. He won 